my channel welcome to another diamond art club uh, unboxing this is uh, my ideal are they all this is round you can see the pink line here now you can see the round here you will see them in the stores in Hobby Lobby and um, I think Joanne's might be getting them shortly over in the States this is a Chuck Pinson. This is where time moves slower. Let's take a look at what is inside. The good news is, oh goodness, this is in stock. I did go on their site and had a look at a lot of their items. Goodness, this is a chubby one. Um, and <sighs> yike, all the drills are down the other end. Don't forget the goodies inside. Now that's one, two. There's usually a sticker. What am I missing? Am I missing anything? I do not appear to be missing anything. Okay. Definitely not going blind. There's often a little thumbnail that comes with them. Uh, and I'm just checking it's not stuck in the box. Nope. All right, so this might have been a little bit before the time that they did the thumbnail. All right. So this is the image. Um, focus you in. Isn't it gorgeous? Um, in my, I don't know, childhood, I always wanted to have a horse. It was never going to be a thing, but you know, you can dream. There are one, two ABs, just checking that there's none hiding in the middle, no sneakies in the middle or anything of anything else. No. All right. So Chuck Pinson, it's a 74 by 56, which is kind of the average size that they're doing, unless you start getting some of the mammoths that they're putting out at the moment. It is round. For all you people who love your rounds they are so fun to work on seriously um not going to open this but it's a toolkit so you get the um drill trout the short lines or they they finish short that's just my bugbear pen bags uh grip blue squishy and i can see that there are two pink waxes in there as well so your kit is your kit is your kit it is only different if it's a square Let's get into this, because the drills are all at the end. Okay, we will unroll this the wrong way as we go. Now, somebody put a question up in one of the groups asking about poured glue, sorry, poured glue versus kind of mounted glue. Mounted glue is not something done by Diamond Art Club. Diamond Art Club do um, poured glue. Mounted glue is kind of like the double-sided adhesive, but it's a little bit more special, I suppose. Um, the Lousy One store uses it, and Treasure Studios Art uses it. There is your brochure, thank you note, or thank you coupon for 10% off in there. There are some instructions. If you're giving this as a gift to someone, these are brilliant. Otherwise, watch YouTube. Uh, let's get into the drills while that is resting, just a smidge. Details on the bag, including the code. They're so nicely packed, and I'm just going to disrupt them all. All right, they're just going to sit there. So, 131 and 135. 135 looks like it's kind of limey green, and 131 looks like it's yellow. Okay. It feels very big. So it's autumn. I don't know if this is somewhere that Chuck has actually been. Um, he, not to disappoint you or anything, but he doesn't actually go to all of the sites that he paints. He kind of gets, there's a house and, oh, there's a tree. And he just blends it together in these, he calls them visions, I suppose. Um, and it's not necessarily a real place, unfortunately. Um, I must take a, place, a photo. Must go for a drive. There is a photo, sorry, there is. There is a cottage in a clearing in 
surrounded by trees that I want to take a photo of. Um, it is kind of like idyllic, although it's not really because the sun would never get into this, but it's just beautiful. Anyway, it's kind of like fairy cottagey. Um, one is the first AB, and that's in the trees. Gold in the trees. What is the gold in the trees? Gold in the trees. Oh, it's the sunlight dappling on the trees. That's a funky change. Okay, that's cool. So it's the sunlight on the trees, highlighting the bark. And it is also in the chimney, on the chimney breast. The like three bricks there. It's also on the top of the gate post. There's some lichen, maybe. Um, and it's here up in the autumnal kind of yellow. Well, I'm not sure if it's flowers. Could be blossom. But it could be the colour of the trees changing. Um, so you've got your yellows there too. And a couple in the bushes. And none, oh, there's a couple on the ground. So some fallen leaves on the footpath. Two I spotted. Two is green. Now there's none up here. But the twos I have spotted are in the grass. Checking over on the left. Okay, so falling that over because this is the big mama on my little desk. So it's the grass here. So there's not many twos, it's only going to be a small packet, unfortunately. Love the, love the um, AB shimmer. So yeah, in your grass, it's going to be kind of limey green, give that kind of shimmer shine of, you know, almost a dewy morning. And this thing here, that's your little border collie um, watching the horse. And it is very much an idyllic little scene. Not much happening, but life and slow pace and all of that kind of wonderful. All right, let's go through the drill. So you've got 3865, you've got a lot of the cream that will be for the building, the house, the home. 3861, just one of those in the beigey kind of brown. Seven nine. Sorry, 779, my number dyslexia kicking in. Three of those, three browns. So lots and lots of browns, so it'll be fence, tree, you name it, it's gonna be maybe there. 702 is your limey green, it's going to be your grass. 310, only one 310. 3371 is your kind of black brown. Uh, two of those, again, probably trees, fence, that kind of thing. And maybe off towards the right hand corner, some of the dark bush. Um, three five six is kind of orangey brown, and three seven seven eight is getting into the kind of peachy kind of colours. Seven seven five is your minty green. Um, three three two five is your pale blue. Three eight four one is another pale blue. Three eight three zero oh is another orange brown. Three eighteen is your greys. 703, your limey green, I reckon that would be in the grass as well, near where those ABs go. Uh, 3864, we'll keep an eye on that one. Uh, 3864 is your kind of mushroomy, mushroomy brown, yeah, maybe. Uh, 3755 is a pale blue, and 415 is a pale grey. All right, now. We will fold those and find an in. There we go. All right, 701 is another rich green. Ooh, grass. Okay, 890, we're getting into the bushy greens now. Dark green. 700 is a gorgeous emerald green, really beautiful green. 3860 is again a brown with a bit of a pink blush. Two of those. So where would they go? They would be tree. They would be the top of the... Sorry, I'm looking at the picture in front of me of this gorgeous painting um, as opposed to the sticker because the sticker is actually bigger. Um, that would probably be in the brickwork, you know. Okay. 699, two of those, dark green. Again, into the darker colours in the bush. 938 is a dark brown and there's two of those. And again, a tree, fence and the track, I would imagine. Uh, back, get back. Uh, I'm looking for the end. Or, ooh, 
they be? They are orange. Um, a little bit more orange than what you can see. Um, shimmer is almost silver on those. They are gorgeous. They are like a good, well, not necessarily even a corn fed, free range chuck yolk. Okay. And not many. So that's going up into the reflection on the bark and the yellow turning of the leaves over on those right hand um, shrub bush. 312 is a navy blue. That would be up in the roof. 3770 is a cream. That would probably be in the fence, you know. Um, 3348 is a pale kind of off kind of green. 3346 is a dark army green. 898 is a brown. 340 is a lilac. That's probably up in the roof as well. Ooh, I've just spotted there's a squirrel in the tree. On the tree, even. 3746, another lilac. Um, I'm not spotting lilacs jumping out at me in this picture. So it's probably in the roof. And it's one of those, what the heck is that doing there? But it makes it work. Uh, 433 is a brown. 470 is another army green. 209 is your lilac. Purple. Yeah, lilac. Um, this just, sorry, I'm distracted by a funky drill, which is not quite round. 704 is a lime green. I'm getting very disappointed. These bags are getting so small. <laughs> it's like, where are the ABs? Um, 352 is a peach kind of um, color. And 135 is your limey green. So 135 is two. Um, and a dead drill. And its neighbor actually passed escaped on that one let me see if i can do this without killing my keyboard oh right okay so one three five that two that was in the gra in the grass and one is the one in the reflecting in the tree so yeah there isn't really much of a reflection in that grass four three four is a brown three oh three three is a beige five five oh ooh, purple um my favorite uh four three five is a brown 436 is a little bit more uh, kind of orangey and 210 is a lilac. Hmm. So 135, not what I was expecting for the ABs. Um, I thought there might be a more of a green kind of hint. That's okay. It is okay. Maybe I'm just thinking the wrong kind of things. There is the colors there are all the colors lots and lots of greens and I will grab the painting and we'll see where they go so just pop them oh no actually I'm gonna pop them in the back just give me a second For some of you, if I left that in, in my editing, you may have loved that sound. For some of you, you may have hated it. Okay. All right. Now, purple. I want to find out where my purples are. So, oops. 550. N. It's not in the roof. There's, mm, uh, I was going to say, not color blocking. There are lines of four in the roof. N is in the tree. Purple is in the tree. Now, you might not have expected that. Okay. Um, this, where are you, buddy? This here <laughs> is your squirrel. So you've got your dog, your squirrel, and over here you have your horse, and you have a pigeon right in here. Two pigeons, actually. Maybe even two doves. But the, these are the two pigeons. Uh, any other secrets? Oh, there's more on the grass. Um, here. No, hang on, where is it? It's below the fence. It is... Fence post? Fence post. Fence post. It's here. Here are the two pigeons. And there's one sitting on the fence post here. 
so you can just make them out but they're definitely in the painting um it's one of those fences where it's kind of like hacked into holes they're really gorgeous they're a lovely rustic fence and when i see them out in the wild here in australia i absolutely love them so yeah that is gorgeous um very small cottage wouldn't have enough room for a craft room but hey <laughs> i would still love it um no that's gorgeous it's beautiful um yep yeah, so it's in stock just to repeat again it's a 74 by 56 so it's pretty big and it has i didn't say this it's got 43 colors with the two ab's so if you're interested go and get it my link is in the description down below and um if you're a new customer um, I will also get a commission on that. If you're not, just enjoy it and enjoy your 15% off with my code PIPPA15. Um, sorry for new customers. Uh, if you are already a D Diamond Art Club customer, use any of the codes. There is a code usually on the... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Take 10 is the code, excuse me, on the canvas. There is a code for the thank you, depending on where you go. There are codes everywhere. And look out for the upcoming kind of memorial sale. There will be a big sale coming up on Diamond Art Club, as if they're not giving us enough temptation with the new releases. It's like, oh, that's just cruel. Um, yes, enjoy. All right, I will see you again. And you can check out the two playlists that I have on the end for either Diamond Art Club or something different with the non-Diamond Art Club or any of my other playlists. If you are not already a subscriber, please subscribe. Um, click like, drop me a comment. What is it you like about this painting? Um, what is it you like about Chuck? Because uh, he is an artist that I absolutely love. I love his country scenes um, and the little inclusions. So yeah, it's, it's all kinds of cool. All right. Bye for now. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand.